Alright guys, so I haven't made a video in a while, but there's been a lot going on lately. Um, it's around, what, 1.30? 2 o'clock in the morning. Me and, Juan, me and Juan are just cruising, but I kind of want to show y'all what's been going on. Um, he already painted it. Well, he fixed his hood a little bit. Well, I primed it, but I got it sanded down already. It's all nice and We're just going to, he's going to get it painted. And he finally lowered the rear end. Oh dang yeah. Fucking sucks. Yeah, he lowered it. His uh his tires from the back camber a bit. You can see right there. Yeah, you can see it right there. But um I put LEDs on my side markers, LEDs on my turn signals. And um I also got something else. Boy got his coilovers and his wheels mounted today. I kind of been on the low about all this stuff lately, but I just couldn't hold it in anymore. But yeah, um, I got my salad shooters all mounted up. They're 16 by 8, but I'm running 195s. Let me second 195s, 40s. Give me a stretch look. If I can get it out. But yeah. So that's what's been going on lately. Um did you want the other two or no? Like 50 no? So yeah, um these five spokes are going. I already started the five lug conversion, taking apart the hubs and everything. Um today's Friday, so by Sunday. Hopefully it'll be lowered and I'll have the two on the front or I don't know, I'll put the rears on and see what, how, how I feel comfortable. But, cause I don't have all four yet. I only paid for two tires. I left the other two at work, um, but it's finally gonna get some low. And then my next thing is gonna be side skirts, tent, and probably a system, but the car's coming along pretty well. This one we're gonna lower it probably in the front too. I don't know if Sunday as well, but that's what's been going on. guys so i just got out of work it's been a couple days since the last time i um started recording the video but um there's been a good amount of progress made um i already did the vr6 swap on this side i still got to do the driver's side but if you can see i have the coilovers on in the rear and on the driver's side i just need the passenger side front now um but unfortunately, the adapters that I have, 
that were supposed to be for the solid shooters did not fit so I am straight out of luck on that and I'm gonna have to order some and that's not gonna be until payday which is in a few days and then I'm gonna have to wait another week for them to get here but meanwhile I'm gonna finish the uh, coils and um, well at least this side because I have to adjust the rears um, I finished the rears I put it on the ground and um, they were because I maxed them out so this side the tire was rubbing because this side this tire is a little bit bigger on this side than on the other side so I might just take this wheel off and put it in the front I'm not too sure um, so I won't have to adjust them but that's where I'm at right now I'll show you. pretty much so even the front end is still lifted up off the ground so that's not fully where it sits it'll sit probably around here but that's more or less what it looks like at least the rear end see that's what it looked like more or less right there so right now I am um, adjusting the coilover to where I can well the top hat the top nut has to be screwed all the way down but to, in order to do that you have to have an allen key up top through the strut tower and then turn the nut so that the top hat sits on the uh, spring and then I can take the OEM rubber bushing off the other strut and put it on here and install it but that's what I'm doing right now All right, guys, so I just got done installing the front coilovers. Um, and I've got to say, I love it. Um, it is going to need some adjusting. Well, honestly, I don't know. It might not because this front tire has, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but it has just a bit, like a bit uh, bigger tire than the rest of them because it's the only one they had at work. And I needed one pretty bad. It's um, it's a 225, I believe. Uh, oh no, it's a 205.50. That's why. And the rest of mine are 205.40s, I believe. 205, yeah, 205.40s. So it is thicker. It's thicker. It's definitely a lot thicker. So right here, it's pretty. It's, it is gonna rub on this tire. I mean, unless I jack it up and kind of like you know roll them pull them a little bit which I might have to do either way but that's as far as I've got right now um, I need to find a rim that's five lug so that I can run while I get my adapters because I mean I already did the five lug swap so I can't really go back now um, but I do really like how it sits the rear end sits decent I mean they're maxed out on the rear end the front still has a bit to go if i wanted to quite a bit um but i mean i would have to drive the cars let them settle in and see how i like it but for that i need a tire um but yeah here in the rear end i do have good space but i have a feeling well never mind it is gonna rub here it's touching um so i gotta pull that and then on this side it's pretty much good honestly it's really good actually um which is weird i don't know why but yeah um i have that 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 one's good to go so i'm gonna have to pull this one and the other one most likely this one up front too so but yeah that's how the car looks 
It looks really good in my opinion. So yeah, I mean, I would definitely take it for a drive right now, but I don't, I need a tire. Um, and I also need to bleed that caliper on that side since I just put it on. I took the, the four lug caliper off and put the five lug on. So it's probably not gonna stop. Um, but I mean, for the most part, it's pretty much done. But yeah, guys, so. I guess when I have more updates for you guys, I'll, you know, shoot another video or something. But for now, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.